What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing the guide on Sleeping Giants. So it is just past Alcarin. It is in the complete side of it as you saw on the screen. And you've got to go up to this giant. I am using a quest helper just to kind of get by a little bit quicker and it will help you just basically not have to even think. The items that you do need to bring on screen is three logs, one wall, ten nails, a hammer and also a chisel. If you want to do this a little bit quicker, then obviously a bucket of water is going to be in there whilst you're obviously in there. Or you can use the ice gloves, which you will need to actually unlock first. I just don't have them at the minute, so we are just using the bucket and we will get through it anyway. So once you've spoke with a giant, he'll basically tell you not to attack and he will bring you into this room. So from this, like if you're using the quest help, you should be able to see down the side. But you just go through all of the text. And as you do, you will be told basically needs to all be fixed. This is where all of the requirements of all of the items will come in handy. So if you've got them all, it is an absolute piece of cake. It takes barely over about 10 minutes, if that, to get it done. So once you've gone through all the dialogue, you just want to completely go through it. It does take a little bit of time, so spam that space bar, keep clicking until you get off it, and we will speed up the process of actually finishing this. So the first thing is repairing this machine. Again, it all comes with a little bit of dialogue, which... It, it just is what it is, unfortunately. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. So you've got to kind of just speed through it. You'll eventually just repair once you've gone through that first bit. You'll then get onto the blue bit, which again is all on the quest helper. So this originally wouldn't be here. You've got to kind of just click it yourself if you don't have the quest helper on so i would just recommend having it on just to make life a little bit easier especially with some of the quests it is an absolute blessing to have so if you just type in on rune light just quest and it will come up as like the third option once you've done the second one then obviously you've got another third one to do and this one again is just going to be with some dialogue you want to go through it and make it nice and good then obviously you just need to speak to him again a lot of it is based around dialogue unfortunately he will then kind of disappear you'll go back into it and this is where he'll basically tell you to search for the crate and you are going to start melting your blade because this is all kind of to do with making a sword for him or at least foraging a sword and then at the end you will be able to have access here then we just need to go over to this bucket and then start pouring everything in you want to just put absolutely everything in you can start with the bars and then they will go in straight away you then want to do the iron bars and then you just have to click on each item and put them in as well so at this point i was like okay what do i have to put these in just click use whack them all in and then we'll just go from there once you've done that bit, then obviously you need to get some of the lava in there. So once we've gone through and put these swords in, we'll speak to him and then he should be able to fill it up or at least you should be able to fill it up and get this machine running. And as we continue with the dialogue, as always, then you want to go into here and you want to start making your blade. So literally just click any options here. You want to start with whatever you will go with the blade. I naturally had a little bit of choice. I was like, okay, well, what do I actually have to go with it? Is there an actual option? So you can see me kind of like pondering which one do I go with? Once you've done that one, you just literally have to just click whatever you want. So it isn't actually a problem as such as you can see by the quest helper. It is just telling you to click whatever you want. You just have to click one. Once you've set the mold, you again will go back to some more dialogue, which we thought we never needed. And we go back to him and then it is time to start doing this. So once we've done this, we will click pour. It will then pour on the mold. And this is where then you will go get the bucket. If you have got the ice gloves here, then you should be able to just get it straight out. Because we need the bucket, obviously we have to go fill it up at this water. Obviously use the bucket first, because naturally you can't do it without. And then you want to use the bucket on this lava to cool it down. Then, as I'll realize pretty quickly, I need everything out of my hands. So take off your sword and shield, whatever you've got in there, and then just gratefully pick it up. This is where this could take a little bit of time. It did take me a second to actually realize what we actually needed to do here. So you can see on the bars, you've got basically the top left and right. And I was looking here to see what I actually needed to do. And it is all about keeping it in the uh, kind of the zone. So what you want to be doing at the start, especially for the hammer, is by kind of heating it up so it stays within the hot part. And then obviously as you're doing this, you'll see the heat naturally go down. You want to keep it away from the yellow to start with until he tells you to stop. And naturally, if you keep doing it, so once we get past that bit, we've heated it up naturally. We could have literally just kept going with it. And eventually he will tell you to stop. So if we keep going, there is the stop. And what he wants me to do then is go and polish it. 
I still quite don't understand it, but we did cool it down a little bit. And naturally, as you kind of cool it down, it'll tell you to polish. And then you've just got to keep repeating the process. This did take me a second to kind of actually realize. So as you can see here, I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? I need to cool it down. Do I need to heat it up? It is just trying to get that bar fill. But it is the last bit of the quest. This one is just literally the final piece of the puzzle, which is nice and easy to do. So once you've kind of got the hang of it, you realize that you want to kind of keep going down, not too much, because then you will have to go heat it back up again, which you'll see I did in a second. But once you've polished it again, it will then tell you to cool down, as obviously you are trying to forge a sword. You don't want it too hot or too cold, as you are trying to polish it up. So we need to go again and cool it down. I think this time is where I cooled it far too much. And as you can see there, it does need to be heated up a little bit as it did go all the way down to zero and as you can see we can polish it again but you do need to make sure that you are obviously keeping it within the zone as we see here it needs to again be heated up properly we can't just heat it up a little bit because naturally as you're polishing it it will go down so you want it to the heat and then this bit i thought you know what well there's only a little bit unfortunately it tells me to stop and i have to just click it once to get to the polish so make sure you've got a bit of room with this because otherwise it can take a while just walking backwards and forwards but naturally once you've kind of got the hang of it you should be able to get it done and obviously heat uh, kind of cool polish the whole just process of it really that is the annoying part but once you've kind of got it down it is very very simple to do and once you are done you should then get the message to say the sword has been finished and you can go ahead and speak to the giant and once we've done this i think we're on the last little bit and once you've finished this bit that is the quest completely done we can then talk to him get it finished and we get ourselves our reward which is going to be i believe one quest point six thousand smithing and then also access to this place as well which does have a bank where that person in the middle is stood as well so it's always a blessing let me know down below if this helps i will keep you updated with more quests and we'll keep our grind on osrs take care and there we go finished